welcome back to my channel. First and foremost, I excuse any gardening, lawn mowing, annoying sounds you may be hearing in the background. Of course, right now when I sit down to film, and I'm actually motivated to sit down and film, they need to go and do some gardening and lawn across the street. Thank you, buddy. I'm trying to film a video here. Come on now. Today's video is going to be a little baby Sephora haul. I have not done a Sephora haul on my channel in a little while. The last time I did one, coincidentally enough, it was actually a lipstick haul like today's going to be, except that I do have an eyeshadow palette that is included within this whole lipstick haul. I'm really excited to share these products with you, so if you want to find out the lippies that I recently picked up and hauled, then please just keep watching. So let's start with the one that is on my lips right now. This is a new product from NARS. They are called the Lip Covers and they're kind of like a very, very creamy, almost mousse-like liquid lipstick. They don't dry down 100% matte. I feel like there's a little bit of creaminess, a little bit of moisture to them, but they don't really transfer. They're long-wearing, long-lasting. The color I picked up is in the shade Overheated, and it's a beautiful kind of dusty mauve, my favorite shade for that everyday look. It's a little bit vampier than a nude, a mixture of a dusty rose shade, as well as a tiny, tiny little bit of brown. So I feel like this is a nice, color to amp up your everyday look if you don't want to go with your typical nude. And I really like the wear, I like the way it feels on my lips, it's very comfortable. And again, it's the NARS lip cover and my shade is in Overheated. The next product is also from NARS. I haven't picked up a NARS lipstick in so long and this is from their original, you know, regular collection of lipsticks. I don't know if they're called anything other than a NARS lipstick, but I picked up this shade in Pigal or Pigale, Pigali, P-I-G-A-L-L-E. And the reason why I picked it up, I was working at Ulta. I no longer work at Ulta anymore. But when I was working at Ulta, this girl came in and she had the prettiest kind of buttery brown nude lip. Literally chased her down and I said, what is on your lips? Because it is the prettiest color. I'm very into that kind of rosewood, burnt, mauve brown lip. What is it? Please tell me. And she said she actually didn't remember what it was. She had to run into her car and luckily she had it in there. And it was this NARS lipstick in Pigalle. And it's exactly that. It's like a brown, buttery nude. Such a pretty color. It's a great everyday with a little bit more vamp, a little more amp to your everyday look. I really like it. And these lipsticks are long wearing. They're really comfortable. I own about... I own six other lipsticks. I don't know if you can see back here behind me. Now I have number seven, and I'm really excited to add this one to my collection because these are one of my favorite high-end lipsticks. And funny story, the very first lipstick I ever bought that was high-end was actually a NARS lipstick. So really happy to add this little guy into my collection. The next three lipsticks come from the Urban Decay Vice lipstick collection. Urban Decay recently decided to just get rid of all their little lipstick collections that were separated. There were matte lipsticks, cream lipsticks, sheer lipsticks, and they decided to just get rid of that, make it a little bit more organized, and put them all together in one big lipstick collection. So they came up with the idea of the Vice lipsticks, kind of like their Vice palettes. So there are over, or I think there are, a hundred lipsticks within this collection, from sheers to comfort mattes to extreme mattes to creams, and I actually picked up three I believe from three, yes, from three different genres within this lipstick collection. So I picked up a comfort matte, a cream, and a mega matte. So let's start with the comfort matte. I'm not sure if I already have this one because I know I already own the color name and it's called 1993. It's like a nice brown nude. But when they came out with them again for the Vice, I decided to pick it up again since I really love the original matte 1993 lipstick from Urban Decay. I thought, why not have another? And if it is the exact same color, it doesn't matter because now it's like having a backup. And it's a very comfortable matte, exactly as what it's described, a comfort matte. Gorgeous, brown, nude, everyday go-to for me. And even though my skin may look fair, I tend to go for these darker lip colors. I think they suit me better, my skin tone, my hair. And my mom always thought that I was a lot darker in skin tone than she is because she's blonde, she has green eyes, she's very fair. But we're usually the same shade and foundation. And it's funny because she doesn't realize I may have dark hair and like dark features, but my skin tone isn't really that dark. If I spend a week at the beach, then yes, I will look like a, a bronze goddess. Because when I was little, I used to spend time at the beach and I would spend seven to 10 days outside and get so much sun that I would turn into this gorgeous bronzy goddess look. And I don't get that that much because I'll be honest, I love being inside, I love being in front of my computer, watching YouTube, watching Netflix, and working on my blog. So I'm very much an indoor person, I'm not an outdoor person. But if you take me to the beach on a vacation, take me to Hawaii, take me to Barbados, then I will spend my time outside. As long as you keep me fed with pineapples and yummy tropical drinks, I'll be good. 
But anyways, getting back on point. So she doesn't like brown lipsticks, but I do, and this 1993 Comfort Matte is the perfect brown nude. And then, of course, I wanted to pick up a more everyday shade of nude, and that's where this one steps in. It's called Insanity, and it's a cream. And this one is a... if I can get this box open. <laughs> this one is a really pretty peachy pink. And if the light is going on in this video and it's going down, it's because I'm using natural light right now. It's kind of like a overcast day, so hopefully it won't detract too much from the video. But again, this is a nice peachy nude, and it's called Insanity, and it's in the cream consistency. So it is very creamy, very comfortable, and I really like this color as well. And then the third color I picked up, probably the darkest, or I guess I should say the most different. So we have a brown nude, a peach nude, and then I went for this one called Oblivion, and it's a mega matte, so it's the most matte of the collection from the Vice Lipsticks of Urban Decay. And this, to me, looks like a nice fig, kind of um, purpley mauve nude. So it's very much more in that lilac, lavender, purpley shade. This reminds me of Thistle, which is another color I picked up and I'll be talking about soon from Bite Beauty. Really pretty, just everyday, kind of more mauvish lavender shade. And again, it's Oblivion in the Mega Matte. And then speaking of that Thistle shade, I picked up another lipstick from Bite Beauty. These are their Amouge Bouche lipsticks. These are very hydrating, they're creamy, they are supposed to be matte, but they don't feel that on the lips. They're very, very comfortable. And I think I have three lipsticks or four lipsticks from By Beauty and a few of their lip creamy crayons. But I really wanted to pick up this color Thistle. I don't know, I've just been on this kick with these kind of muted, purpley, almost ghost-like shades. I feel like these are so ghoulish. They're perfect for when you want more of that, I guess you could call it, um, grunge look. If you're doing a very smoky eye, but you don't want to do a nude lip, but you want something that's not nude but more pale, go for something like this, like a purpley, ghastly shade. It is in that nude family, but it's not your typical pink nude, which I'm bored of pinks lately. I don't know, I'm just tired of pink lipsticks. I want something different. I want something peach, I want something hot pink, I want something vibrant, or I want something very muted like this Thistle from Bite Beauty. And then the last lipstick that I picked up is actually a liquid lipstick, and it's my second liquid lipstick from Kat Von D. These are her everlasting liquid lipsticks. I love that Kat Von D is actually part Spanish from Spain. My great-great-grandfather came from Spain, from Barcelona. So I feel as if I have some deeply rooted connection with Kat Von D, so I always want to support her brand, not to mention that her products are insanely awesome. So the only other liquid lipstick that I have from her is the Lolita one, which is like a nice dusty mauve, my favorite shade. I wanted to go for something different for the summer, and just to have it in my collection, I really wanted it. I thought it was so pretty, so different. It's called a Go Go, and it's this vibrant orange, and in the tube it looks very, very orangey, but on the lips and swatched, I feel like there's a little bit of coral to it, which makes it fun and fresh, and definitely a great summer go-to color. And her liquid lipsticks are amazing. They're easy to apply, they're long-wearing, they're long-lasting, they're smudge-proof. They don't dry out on the lips, they don't crackle. They're just really, really good, and I'm really happy to have a second one in my collection. And then I went ahead and picked up the Kat Von D Serpentina palette. When I saw swatches of this online, I said I need this in my life. It looks like Christmas ornaments for your eyelids. I needed it. I had to have it. So when you open it up, you are treated to eight beautiful eyeshadows. You have two mattes, which is in Blood Milk Red and Venom, which is like a nice medium purple. And then the other six shades are all shimmery, metallic-y goodness. I'm actually wearing Queen, the burgundy shade in the crease and in the corner, like the outer corner of my eye. And then I use Medusa, the goldish green, on the lid. And I just kind of mix those two colors together. So I'm only wearing those two colors. I love this palette. It's so fun. I can't wait till we get more into the fall, autumn months because I will be wearing Hieroglyphic, this gorgeous burnt orange, and Scarab, this beautiful, just perfect emerald green will be great in the holiday season. So I'm really excited to play with this palette more as we reach the fall and winter months. I'm really happy with the pigmentation. I used a very affordable $2 eyeshadow brush to apply this burgundy color in the shade Queen on my eyelid, and I was amazed at how much product the brush picked up, and it wasn't even a fancy brush. But really, really impressed with the pigmentation of this palette. Not only does it come in this cute travel-friendly case that will keep these shadows protected, and with eight eyeshadows, but it also has an eyeshadow pigment. And this color is called Profit. It's a greenish gold. It kind of reminds me of vintage gold. I feel like there's a little bit of blackened gold to this gold. It's not your typical gold. <laughs> it's not your typical gold. It's just a little bit more brazen, if that makes sense. I really like it. And it's nice that they included a pigment along with the shadows, which I think is a nice addition. So you basically end up with nine colors to play with. For under $50, I think it's a great deal. It's pretty much a steal. 
So that is it for my Sephora haul. I used to have a little Sephora bag when I did a big haul during the VIP sale a while ago last year, but I don't know what happened to it during the move. I do have this cute little makeup pouchette bag that I kind of store my stuff when I'm doing a Sephora haul, but I need a big tote bag again. So hopefully when I do the VIP sale this year, they'll kind of include that within the sale and I'll pick another one up. Um, and that's it. Actually, no, there's one more thing. I forgot with my point perks, I threw in a sample lip gloss or rather liquid lip color from Bare Minerals, and I'm not a huge Bare Minerals fan, but when I saw Liquid Lipstick free, yes, I picked it up. This is from their Gen, from their Gen Nude collection in the shade Swag. Let's see what this looks like. It's a pretty nice sized sample. It looks like a pretty, again, dusty mauve, but a little bit softer and a little bit lighter. I think this would be an everyday color for me. I'm excited to play with it and to give Bare Minerals another chance. Maybe I'll fall in love with their Generation Nude Liquid Lipsticks. So that concludes this video. I hope you guys enjoyed it. Let me know if you've picked up any of the things I mentioned. Let me know if you think there's something else that I should pick up and try and review on my channel for you guys. Thank you so much for subscribing, and I will see you guys in my next video.